Hi everyone, we're playing Dying Light 2. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Uh, bad and getting worse. Bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Why don't you tell more about your people? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar. Simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. You wanted me here for gossip? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? Uh... I'm no threat to you. A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask about Lucas's death. I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? But let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. 
I'll see you around, Carl. <laughs> Interesting guy. Okay. Let's uh, go find Sophie. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. Hodor, let me go. <laughs> My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. Okay. So get some work at the bazaar and earn Sophie's trust. So we have to find a few jobs in here. Right, let's find ourselves a job. So I picked up some inhibitors. I think there you can see I've got two out of the three inhibitors. So that will allow me to upgrade my um, health. Also got the UV bars and the immunity booster. Got a couple of UV shrooms left over. Table leg. Hmm, it's a white item, it's not great. And I got some purple items, roadie vest, some shoes, and a bunch of white armor as well. So the spark of invention we can turn in because we've got the parts for that. And there's a bunch of hints there if you want to read them. Basic mechanics. So the exclamation marks must be new quests. Hey you. Yeah, you. Looking for work. So I'm gonna turn in this one first, Spark of Invention. And all for nothing. Here. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. Meet me by the goat pen then, near the wall. Man, I'm so thirsty. Okay. It's on the map here. So it's not these goats. Him, but no goats. Hmm. Have 
haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. I won't give you to the butcher, Goatee. No way. What have you ever done to anyone? I gave you, you just got to sleep. What did you give do? me milk? <laughs> the car just got to stop by. How should I know they were scammers? You couldn't have screwed up more than you did. Must have been very strong. Maybe there's a way to do this. You can so it couldn't have been a coincidence. Hmm. Let's uh, highlight it on the map. Turn on Carlos's device. Left click to track. I keep telling everyone we should be getting Here it ready is. for winter. Windmills. Turn them on if you get it. Set up a greenhouse. Yep. Not yet. I'm missing foil for the okay, Carlos is over here now. Not doing that much better. Buddy? Oh no. I don't understand what happened. Why is the goat smoking? <laughs> so he electrified it. Everything all right? No. It's grilled. The goat is grilled. I'm such an idiot. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon, it could raise your odds against turned creatures. The brave goat gave its life to science. <laughs> There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, uh, hey, uh, he doesn't want to say it. Craft master? <laughs> really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. <laughs> Smoking goat. My aunt says okay, weapon modifications. To install a weapon mod, you need to have a blueprint and craft parts and the right weapon. Check the number of mod slots on the weapon icon. The best weapons have three slots available, grip, shaft and tip. Different mods fit to different slots. Now press I and go to your inventory, choose the right weapon and press C to modify it. Alright. Is complete. So this one's got two slots on it. So press left click to apply it. Applies shock on a critical hit. Nice. And the durability's gone up again as well. So it looks like it's got a battery strapped to it. Okay, it's our first weapon mod. So we need to go and find some more work with uh, the bazaar. Got a bad 
season coming. You know, sometimes I wonder what... Going to sad faces today? Okay, the accessories here we can buy. UV bar. I might buy a UV bar. 280. That way I can uh, make use of those. Can upgrade the throwing knife. So this takes infected trophies. Five of those. And I can probably upgrade the medicine too. Or the lockpick. Five infected trophies, uncommon. So let's upgrade the medicine. Craft parts, okay. There are reasons ago. He's developed this compound with mushrooms and the leaves of some weed. They say it fucks you up like in the old days. He's a murderer! Take him away! In the old school. You look anxious. Look, Urban, your nosy friend's back. Found a job? No luck yet. It's not about luck, kid, but about character. <laughs> like yours? Hmm, ballsy. Okay, then. What does your hungry soul crave? Information? Uh, someone like you must know a lot. Out of modesty, I won't deny it. And maybe a little bird told you what might have happened to Lucas? <laughs> you know, I heard the Pilgrim has come to the city. Very nosy. Grills people about stuff. Gets in the way. Sounds a lot like you. It can't be a coincidence. Sure it can. I don't believe in them. Now, you know anything about Lucas or not? Well, that kind of information is expensive. You can't afford it. I could work for it. A job? You got any work I could do? Leave your CV with my secretary and we'll get back to you. Come on, don't fuck with me. I'm serious. You barge in here like you own the place. Takes coconut-sized balls. Oh. <laughs> That's my kind of man. Or should I say, pilgrim. Okay. I might have a small errand for a tough guy like you. Take care of it. And we'll see whether you're worth knowing. What do you need? Minor thing. I need you to check in on a guy who's late delivering my order. Been incommunicado for a few days now. Might be trying to avoid me. He usually doesn't keep me waiting. No one does. Who's the guy? Hubert. Half-assed Hubie, we call him. Met him. He lives up to his nickname. Need you to find out what's up with him this time. Okay, I'll come back after I've spoken to him. He lives in the tallest building on the edge of Trinity Court, opposite the bazaar on Horseshoe. You can't miss it. But getting to him is another story. What do you mean? But why? Hubert's not just a fence. He makes money where he can. And now he's hiding from half the city. He's super paranoid. Lives like a rat in a maze to keep himself safe. You'll need to climb up and find one of his secret passages to get in. I can handle it? I can handle it. When you're there, give him the password Sayonara. So he knows I sent you. Got it. <laughs> Alright. The ball is in your court. <laughs> yeah, I see what you did there. Very funny. So there's a quest up the front here as well. Exclamation point. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Tell the truth. Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. 
just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. <laughs> but about the job, first and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Okay, I'll do it. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Okay, very sus. That guy. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. Missing persons. And just between us, you won't regret it. been a coincidence. What if these keepers are killing one another? That doesn't seem likely. Why not? Let's check there's nothing else around the place that we can pick up. dog anywhere? Pretty big, thick black fur, chases balls like a puppy, but he's pretty old actually. Uh, nope. I haven't seen any dogs around here. Buddy's a stray, but he shows up here every day to play with me. I take him home, but my uncle won't let me. Maybe one day. Ask Dominic. Wish I had a dog. They're pretty cool. Cool? You don't know the half of it. I mean, listen to this. Dogs have 112 more bones than people, and a higher body temperature. But Buddy, his nose is always cold. And it's not true they only see in black and white. I have two toy balls, and Buddy always fetches the blue one. It's his favorite. <laughs> so you don't have time? Oh, bummer, kid. But I'm in a rush. I'll tell you what, if I see Buddy, I'll let you know. Thanks. Oh, don't be offended if he runs away from you. He plays with me, but won't go near strangers. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Is this some kind of zombie dog or something we're gonna find? <laughs> Woof. Exhausting kid. It doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no work to lean on, that's when you know you hit rock bottom. That'll even grow through concrete. As you say, it all seems in the I told myself you know, you're not finding any other quests around here. I have an advanced degree in humanity. What did you study? Civilizations, but a whim of circumstance. Always knew it. So I think that's the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.